ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So now let me go ahead and um play y'all this video of this teacher. She went viral. We have posted it on Instagram. She's very upset at y'all, at some of y'all parents and how y'all are raising y'all's children. Um, she's going through it. So we're going to go ahead and listen to her here. Let me share this tab real quick. Okay. They're throwing things at other people, other classmates. You say, can everybody sit in their spot? Let me start it over. Looks like she had already started talking. If you're a parent and your child is in pre-K to elementary school, elementary school to high school, I'm calling you out. The children today, I have never experienced, and I'm, I'm 22. Having to teach and work with you guys as children has been the most traumatic experience of my life. I teach five-year-olds ballet. Five-year-old girls ballet. I have a class of 10 students. They don't respect any authority. You ask them, can you stand in your designated spot? They're telling you no and shut up. They're throwing things at each other. They're throwing things at other people, other classmates. You say, can everybody sit in their spot? I don't want to, I'm not doing that. You don't get to tell me what to do. You're not my mom. You confront the parent. The parent tries to argue with you and fuss at you because you tried to reprimand and redirect their kid. I told a young little girl, please sit in your spot. You're not my mom, you don't tell me what to do. Okay. When her mom came to pick her up, I said, hey, your daughter's having a hard time following instructions. And seven times today, I've had to redirect her to just sit in her spot. Well, clearly she didn't want to sit, and mind you, this is a mom. Clearly she didn't want to fucking sit right there. So, I mean, if she's telling you she don't want to do something, why keep asking her to do it? You know she's not going to do it. What world do we live in? Like, what in you guys' brain as a parent says, hmm, my kid not following any directions is a, is a great thing. It's not that serious, and y'all don't have a right to tell her what to do. It's sad. It's sad. It's really, really sad. And another thing that's heart-wrenching is horrifying. It is horrifying. Your five-year-old daughters are asking to listen to Pound Town and Ski Yee. Your daughters, your five-year-old daughters are asking, can we hear Pound Town? I'm playing them Princess Tiana ballet music. And they are asking me, can we hear Pound Town? I don't know what to do. And I'm so scared for these little girls today because this is the most insane, insane agenda push I have ever seen in my life. We do freeze dance. You guys' daughters are twerking at five. Five. Where's the parenting? Where's the boundaries? Where's the help? Y'all are not helping your kids. You're hurting them. You guys are hurting them. I come every day dressed, ready to go, and I'm in school too. I'm in college. I mean, I put bows in my hair. I'm wearing leotards. I, I'm trying to get them interested in, in like proper things for their age. And you guys are exposing your kids to this raunchy secular music. Why is you guys' five-year-old's daughter singing Pound Town? I'm calling out. All right, child. Let me go ahead and come back. <laughs> Not her being all dramatic. I, I mean, I get like her feelings are hurt, but I, am I the only person who didn't see a tear? I didn't, you know, she, 
like I didn't see a tear, but okay. I do agree with her though. She's speaking facts. Yeah, you know, I think she's being a bit over dramatic, but she is speaking facts. A lot of these parents have dropped the ball. Um, but a lot of teachers had me cracking up too. They're like, girl, you 22. Y'all were just as off the chain when you were that young too. But um, I have noticed a lot of the teachers are getting younger and younger. Um, Cause a lot of the older teachers, they're done. They're not dealing with these kids, the disrespect, you know, the fighting. So a lot of the teachers that are now teaching in schools are literally in their 20s. They're teaching kids that are literally just a few years, you know, younger than them. But she's she's working with five-year-olds and I agree with her and it is really sad and I can understand that being frustrating when you don't even have backup from the parents, when the parents think that this is okay. Um, I remember watching a video not too long ago of all these teachers in the classroom with kindergartners and the kindergartners are all singing ski and I'm like, like, why? Like, why is that song being played? Why do these kids know this song? Like, I get, you know, it's it's a viral thing right now to be like, ski But it's like, why are the teachers even engaging in that? And then post on social media, like, it's cute for your kindergarten class to be running around saying that. Now, Sexy Red did respond to her. And of course, you know, she responded in the in the way that I just knew she would respond, you know, just ratchet. So this is what Sexy Red had to say about the crying teacher. <laughs> crying teacher. <laughs> so Sexy Red, you know, big and pregnant, that's her. She says, I'm going to make some kids bop songs for y'all. So that's what she wrote. She's going to make kid bop songs. And then she ended up deleting that tweet, supposedly. So I just think, you know, at this point in time, you know, you just got to raise your kids the best way that you know how to raise them. But it is unfortunate. Um, we did a call-in show a few months ago for all the teachers to call in and air their grievances. And we came to the conclusion that in a minute, y'all's kids are going to be taught by AI. If y'all don't start doing better and raising y'all's kids better and stop stressing out these teachers, it's going to be AI teachers teaching the kids. Because people are quitting the, the teaching profession continuously. You know, it's hard to get new teachers in to like teach these kids because a lot of them are off the chain. And again, you can't even blame the children. You got to blame the, the parents because the parents set the tone in the household. So if the parents are allowing the kids to be disrespectful and talk any type of way, they're going to mimic that outside to the rest of the world as well. So, you know, I feel bad for her. She's definitely overwhelmed. She's definitely stressed out, you know, but until the parents decide to get on board, and be, you know, to help her out and be a force next to her to check their kids if they're being disrespectful. She's basically, you know, having to do this by herself if she doesn't have the backing from the parents, which is really frustrating because she's only 22 years old. So the whole situation is really sad. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.